Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. Trying, trying, trying. It, it disappeared <laughs> once. It, it disappeared a second time. So I think we're on now. A, a little, a, a little tech issues. So if you're ever wondering where you are, we are, and it's not on right away, just refresh your screen. And oh. that's not going to help any of you on right now. But call Karen's if home you watch number. it later, or yeah, or call me. <laughs> <laughs> or don't. See, see if I answer. Um, but that should do it. So. Anyway, today is all things Easter, and I put in a title and everything. Now, that, now there's no title because we're just going live because it just and disappeared. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so, uh, welcome everyone. Tim is looking this up. We we have a gorgeous day here. It's just bright and sunny. I don't know. Tim walked to the store. Is it cold out? Is it? It's pretty nice. It, it, you know, it's pretty nice, and we're really thinking of all of you people out east that are just really hit with us. No, okay. someone was complaining the other day about the extra snow we were getting. I guess it's, you know, it can be a pain to scoop and, you know, clean the driveway and get the cars out. But, oh, my goodness, we have nothing to complain about. I nothing. said, I just feel for for all of you guys. So if any of you are from the East Coast, just know we're thinking about you and can tell us you're doing fine. They said, like, what, 900,000 people have no power yet or something? You're missing people. So we have, yeah, I'm, I'm missing a ton of people. You know I won't get all your names, but Julie, Deb, Kim, Melanie, I'm just glad you guys come back on. Kimberly, Deborah, Karen, Nancy, Peggy. This has been an extremely busy week here, and I have not gone and looked to see if I had customer cards. So if I do, they're going to be for next week. So sorry about that. Do you ever have weeks like that? I said, this has just kind of been it between the traveling and my stacks of stuff and I have people in the other room working on the card kits for our Saturday event here in Richfield. We still have room, so if any of you are uh, free and aim to do aim to do that, so that's great. Oh, it's, it's uh, yeah, oh, yeah, Kathy, you're settled into Wisconsin. That's great. So you picked good weather to come. It's all good. And yeah, <laughs> Holly's in the other end of the house. And uh, <laughs> I am so fortunate to have friends that come over and help cut paper for me things. And then there's Holly in the chair reminding me of what I need to do to get ready for Facebook Live. Like, do you have the stamp set out that you're giving away? <laughs> do you have this? And of course I never do. So then I go do it. So see, it's 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 all really good. Renee, I need to look because it'll be shown on Monday since you're my downline. So I just have to find it. So uh, Mary, you had 11 inches down south of Minnesota. No. No. So I guess, you know, we had like six inches. So I guess, yeah, that's, that is just heavy duty um, a cleanup. So, and Linda Francis Robin, wonderful. Oh, treacherous drives all over. I just, oh yes, and watching the news. So you just want to be, you you want to be safe and uh, be very careful. So I am going to give away a stamp set today, uh, live at the end of this. When you know when we're down to, I'm going to be sharing cards at the end. So this is message for Holly, and then she can go ahead and draw the names. But today I decided it would be fun, as I don't always do drawings on Thursday, but sometimes I do. But today I'm going to do it just for people who have shared. I wanted to do that because I wanted to make a comment about how much that helps us. That's how other people find us. Shared with other... Shared, on where, their page yeah. or wherever. <laughs> That's shared a comment. No, oh, Okay. Um, who actually share the video and then you can let us know because I, 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 I see a thing of some people when they share but not others so I just want to know and then she'll do a random number drawing for this stamp set that was in the last catalog in the fall catalog too and I love this one count my blessings you can just go look this on there are just gorgeous samples with this and I know I have some really pretty cards, and I, I love the, the scripting and these flowers and the acorns. It is a lovely set for coloring. So this will all be good. Nancy's already shared. That's wonderful. And it's one of Karen's favorite sayings, because every morning yeah, I say I, this when to I make, her, make her tea, I just, she says, Tim, I count my blessings. When I count my blessings, you're at the top of my list. Yeah, yeah. I, I had to read it, but you know I have it memorized, and I uh, say it every day. It's so, like, oh, look at you people share. And, you know, it's just a reminder, because I just... It, it just really helps us. We just absolutely love all of you guys. I said, this is great. So today we are going to do all things Easter. So I'm going to start with this stamp set. And this is my card kit of the month it, with the framelits with this. And I love, actually it's kind of funny because we were out, we're making, using the little cross. We're working on my card kits too for the month. And one has the little cross and we have two, mine and Holly's. You can do double. 
and the one is lost on our carpet. We have variegated carpet and it's full of paper confetti. So that would be Tim's job. <laughs> Does any, anyone relate to losing a little, <laughs> a little thing here? So, um, but I love the cards that I'm sending this month and I couldn't even find, I will show you one, but I couldn't find it, but it's at the top of my page. So you can I, see it. I already, oh, spent, nice one. <laughs> I already spent five minutes looking for it and I usually find things. So it's... Oh my goodness, all kinds of you are... Sh kind of you sharing RPA. <laughs> I said, I, you know, usually I'll just do it for comments and I will usually just do for comments. Every now and then I'll just do this, but just to make the point how much that means to us. So it's absolutely wonderful. I'm keeping warm. I don't know if my roommates are keeping warm. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous, Marilyn. So yes, so see, then nice. Judy needs to put a comment in too. Now I'm a roommate. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> okay, so... Um, at the end, I have gorgeous cards to share out of this. So at the end, we're gonna do it. But first, I'm gonna make some cards. I'm going to make a couple using this. So we can bring it down. And then we'll just do some fun little Easter things if you do things for kids and stuff, you know, so that's that's always fun. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I just wanted to go really simple here today. So I'm using shimmery cardstock, and I just cut out the cross. And I'm gonna let this get messy because I can wash this. I'm going to just watercolor this and I'm gonna make it kind of like, um, I don't know, like maybe a sunset or something. So I have Melon Mambo. Karen, mm -hmm. well, I guess it is sunset. Oh, sunrise, sunrise. Oh, sunset. sunset for the cross, sunrise for the, for the Yeah, uh, but it, it, it's, all, it's, it's all beautiful. So this is what I'm going to try to do. So I'm taking a block here and putting on Melon Mambo. Daffodil Delight and Pumpkin Pie. So I'm just going to use these colors. You could, of course, use any colors. And then I've got my... And Pumpkin Pie is pumpkin definitely, pie? definitely an Easter color. <laughs> Wanda says, you're my cooking roommate, Tim. That is so true. <laughs> what, is, what does that mean? Because you do all the cooking. So I said, you're oh. a perfect kind of roommate. <laughs> Kathy, yeah, Kathy's sharing her story about when she lost a little stamp. <laughs> Came months later. She lost it. Did I say lose? Yes. Oh, that's pretty bad. I once lost one too, and I found it later under the the score scoreboard. <laughs> so it is funny. <laughs> yeah, Noreen, that's true. So I said, okay, okay. So then I am going to just get this a little wet because I want this to be. Uh, okay, is is this good so you can see where I'm at? I'm putting some water on because I want this to be really light. And I'm just going to do streaks out. Uh, it's not really a particular... Uh, I'm just going to do a bunch of this. Let's see, a little more there. Whoops, that was probably quite a bit. A little more there and a little more... Yeah, okay. Okay, that's good. I talked to myself, it's okay. <laughs> we had <laughs> someone working here and Holly and she and I were all in the room and we all talked to ourselves so we never knew if we were talking to someone else or not. And you have to yell and say, I'm talking to you. Okay, now I'm gonna add some pumpkin pie. I'm not waiting for this to dry because I don't really care if it uh, blends. I This is a, you know, however it turns out will be just fine because I don't really have any plans. Sometimes, Life is better when you don't care. Okay. Oh, that was a little that was a little dark. This may or may not be a good card, but this is just, you know, life in action here. <laughs> oh, Brenda, love it. She sends the little people she does uh daycare with or <laughs> her kids with magnets to find lost framelets. Oh, oh ooh, Tim. I'll be right back. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna go see if he can find a magnet and work on that. <laughs> and then I'm adding some Melon Mambo. Okay, this is a little brighter than I had in mind, but that's okay. You know, sometimes what you have in mind just isn't what ends up being, but it's it's all good. Okay, um... Now, if I really, oh, but I'll, I'll leave it that bright. Now, if I didn't want it this bright, well, maybe I should do this just so we <laughs> see 
see what it's doing. If you decide something is too bright, you just put a paper towel over it and it absorbs some of the ink. So we'll see what it looks like when it's comes out. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to set this aside and we're gonna dry this and then I look at that. So that is one card. Oh, and my thought on this was, if you do send Easter cards, if you have kids, would they have fun just painting? They could paint in any color and just be really, um, they, they, they would love what they came up with. So I think that's a very fun idea. And then I wanted to do one more. Love this Bible verse in here. And it says, I have made you, I will carry you, I will sustain you, and I will rescue you. I, I'm sure you can think of, you know, people that that would be appropriate for. So then I just used uh, a die cut out to put over it. And you see, uh, this one was way crooked. Got to make sure paper is two sides. And I didn't care how this went on because I was just centering the words. <laughs> so that side is not put together at all. But I will do this. Oh, yeah, elementary age, yes. So that would be really an easy, fun kids project. Or if you have a family day, if you're going to send out cards. Okay, so here's my base card. And then I had left. I did, this was part of um, my kits for February. And I just had one left. So I thought, well, this would be really fun to put on there. Now, I could, you know what? I actually like it in white. I'm going to leave it in white. Otherwise, oh, you know what? Let me, I'll put a teeny bit of coloring on. Let's see, just to show you. Oh, this is going to be really light. I, otherwise, I was going to color it like this, just very, very lightly with, uh, we'll, we'll do that because we'd like to see all possibilities, right? All right, Cheryl just put together her kit, okay? And, okay, so this is, give it just a very, very, you know, soft kind of look. So I'm just going to go around there with the flowers. So that is pool party. And I'm even going to blot that a little bit. And then I do have, I love these sponge daubers for kind of brief little coloring like this. This is just a little different look. Just another little, of course I could have watercolored that or anything else too, but. Brenda. You're wonderful. <gasps> Brenda, it worked. Did you find it, Tim? Yes, but you know where it was? Where was it? It's on the table. Okay, because we were looking too hard on the floor. It See? Was in and amongst all of the ones oh, that she punched out. Oh, so was, we know someone is going to be so happy that that's <laughs> found because she left was, worried. And I said, that's no big deal. Happens to me all the color, time. It was the same color, but the magnet just made it jump out. So. Oh, fun. Okay, so I am going to... Tim is still the finder. He is, yep, living up to his name. Okay, I'm just going to put that on. But it's not just a fun, um, pretty card like that. So, hi, Lauren Francis. Yes, chalk. Well, Francis says you could use chalk. Well, Francis, I couldn't because Stampin' Up! doesn't sell it anymore. <laughs> but yes, you could use chalk. <laughs> Sadly, so, so I'm making a joke because I'd love them to bring back chalk because there's a lot of things you do with chalk. But you know me, I'm going to use what's in the catalog. So, But just kind of a fun pastel card. So, okay. And these will be up on my blog. Last week, I had the blog post done. I had the pictures taken and I forgot to add the pictures and post it. So that one will still go up too, but this one will go up tomorrow. So that is this stamp set and I have some gorgeous ones to do at the end. Okay. So now we're going to do some just kind of fun little things. Okay. First I had to do this one for, uh, this makes me think of quilting. So this is for the quilters, you know, that like to do because it makes me think of applique. I'm going to make an Easter chip card. And so I've taken the largest. So I've taken the stitched framelits because, you know, they kind of look. And I have lots of this bubble and fizz still to use up. This is just great. I love this Bermuda Bay on it. Okay, I'm going to put that on it. Oh, I'm going to put this first. I was going to say that's really... A little glaring right on there, but I do have another white piece. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be his body. And then we have a little orange B because I'm using paper from there and this wonderful yellow from the color theory. So I'm using a combination of two. Okay, so I'm going to make him go like 
that would help if I put <laughs> if I put some adhesive on. Just the basics. Okay. So there's going to be my little chick. I think my hands are a little dirty, and I'm going to put my little. I put my little beak. He's looking up. I don't know why, but he is. Okay. And then I put some wings on. <laughs> He's saying the sky is falling, the sky is falling. Yeah, see, so I have my little wings. I saw a little picture like this once, and I thought, oh, I could do that with, with this kind of stuff, so then we'll put an eye on it. Okay, and then I'll just take my black Stampin' Right, and we'll color in the eye. And then we'll add some little feet here little chicken feet anyway so here's my little but when it makes me think of like a, a baby quilt where you put little little quilt animals but this is just another fun thing because you know can do that okay so then oh all of you people sharing so yeah so here's just my my little check with the stitch framelits and I always say those are my most used framelits for sure so I'm curious how many people either send out Easter cards or do Easter treat things. So let me know if you do, and I'm gonna do a couple of other cards. I'm gonna make two card bases here because these are gonna be similar but different. So I have crumb cake, and then I have a five and a quarter by four inch piece put through the striped folder. I love the stripes folder. And it carried over, so you don't see it, but it did carry over. But I think it's great because it's kind of more subtle. Great for masculine cards. And it's, you know, it's, it's not busy. And you know what? Let's do one to have it be really subtle. I think this size maybe. I'm going to do one this way. So we'll make it as different as we can. Okay. Then the rest of this is basically done. I've taken the largest stitch circle. So see, I'm really working on the stitch circle. And this is some grass from the picnic basket set. Um, I love this set and I especially like the grass. So I'll use the grass a lot. So I have a couple layers of that. I attached this first and then ran it through the big shot. Because you can see the lines go right through there and I wasn't trying to line it up after that. Kathy's, oh, Kathy's made a dozen last year. <laughs> I forgot to send them. Oh, my goodness. Okay, treats for grandchildren and cards for older. That's great. Oh, a lot of you do. Oh, I'm thrilled. So now, now we're looking at some kind of kid-friendly things. So I took off in the Friends Forever set here. You know, you can cut your stamps apart. I often do that if there are words. But on this, I think this is an adorable bunny at the end on this. We must celebrate stamp set. So I just cut him off so I can use him separately. Debbie's wondering if people miss their paper before they put paper through the embossing folder. I don't, unless for some reason I have a little trouble with it. Then it's, um, but, you know, other people could do that. Um, Missed it? Yeah, because it, it makes it a little, it can be a little more pliable. If you're having any trouble, it's a good idea, but... I don't usually. So this is upside down. It is upside down. <laughs> but I let's see for words. I I'm not gonna put words on that. But it could be either. If I wanted words, this is a perfect little place. I'm gonna have him hiding in the grass, kind of like taunting us in the yard, you know. So he's gonna go on there, and I because you could do celebrate spring or something instead of hello hello spring, happy Easter, whatever. So that's. A uh, quick little card. And then this one, I sent Tim to the store. I made this. This is the picnic basket from the that same set. Oh, and so first I'm going to put some grass right over it. So you see I've got my same circle. And I'm just going to put grass across it here. Right across. So it's kind of in the grass. And that can just kind of stick out. And I put, I use the mini glue dots. 
Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's, it's fine. Okay. I can't talk to myself though when I read comments. And you can look in here. I stacked up three of these on the top part and just one on the bottom because I wanted to be able to slip something in here. And then I sent this to the dollar store with Tim and said, could you find something that fits in here? <laughs> and he did an awesome job. Show you what and, he found. Look at okay, this. Yes, look what I found. He found a whole bunch of little erasers. And I thought, would this be a cute thing to give a kid? Because now he's just kind of peeking. I want to see right there. He's just peeking out. So I thought this was just adorable. Thank you, my dear. Now, just wait. I like the little mouth. Okay. There. You can put it where you like. And, mm -hmm. okay, when I was in the store, they have boxes and boxes of peeps. And on the box itself, they have this cute little peep bunny. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to go and ask the lady if I could take a knife and cut one of those out and bring it home because I wanted to use a cardboard bunny to go in there. But I, but he didn't dare. I didn't dare. But he did a good job on this. I thought that was really cute. And this would be just a fun, yes, just a little something extra and what is to put kid? in there with kids. It's an eraser. It's so an it's eraser. not even sweet. Oh. So when you like to do something that's, you know, a little... A little fun. And then, of course, if you Can like I lots of sweets. One more thing. Yeah, but your turn is coming. You no, know, but, no, okay. this is about this. I okay. was also thinking about taking a peep and smashing it down like I do. I like smashing things. I'd smash it down and put it in there. A peep. But, yeah, but who's doing a peep card today? Well, I am. Oh, Tim is doing a peep yes. card. So I don't know why I talk about it now, but you got to wait because no, he's, he's doing a peep card. But, yeah, idea another idea for his peeps. So I'm glad I found the oh, oh, so so glad. So he might continue yeah. on. Now, if you want to give a lot of candy or something big, could be a big egg, but, you know, our little treat boxes are fabulous. And, of course, I haven't put this together, so we'll see how it goes. I probably might want to glue this. I will I will do a little of this because I'm not sure. Here is the grass again. I just love this grass. Oh, people love your idea, Tim. So oh, good. so you're 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 in luck here. I'm vindicated. He's vindicated, yes. Okay, so if I put this on, we'll see. I don't use the fine tip glue things for much, so I don't know why I'm thinking I should use it here today, but i that is what I'm thinking, so I'm doing that. Okay. So this should do about half, I think. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then I don't know if I need to hold it. Now Tim could tell the stories. Yes, you can fussy cut some grass. Do you know what I do if I'm using a scissors? I just cut it like that and then just keep snipping it. And it's a, it, it's it's a great way to do grass. You don't really have to spend all the money to buy these, you know. Although you could, and then you know, ha have this grass. Well, I got a little smudge there, but that's but that's okay. And I will put this one on. Life is about finding substitutes and taking an idea and making it your own. So it's all good. But of course, since I buy most of what we sell, I want to try to find uses for them you know so but I do I think this is just the cutest little grass because of the ups and downs and the way it waves I think it's so, pretty fun I was grocery shopping for my mo my mother-in-law yesterday and the phone rang and it was Karen and she says <laughs> can you get me some little pastel jelly beans? yeah jelly beans she says I don't think the ones that um the dollar store are gonna I said you know I really good. might want to eat them yeah and you know so yeah. These you know, a name brand perfect. would be a, <laughs> might be good. Okay, I'm just going to put a little of this on here. So now I have my four little bunnies for the, for all the sides here. And if this doesn't totally. Are they going to hide in the grass? Uh, I, they're hopping, Tim. Oh, they're hopping. Don't they look like they're hopping? Yes. They With do. those feet right, see, they're gliding right in midair. And can we tell the story about the tails? How and this, oh, well, yeah, I will, but this is this is from the Hello Easter set. Yeah, you can tell a story about the tails. See, aren't those lovely little tails? And, and Tim, you'll have to see Tim's card. He came up with probably a much better idea for the tails. But we found this at the dollar store, too. Oh, yeah, this one's really hopping. He's up in the air. I'm going to just be really speedy here, that okay? A whole sheet of different colors. Of this is a, fuzzy. yeah. Yeah, this, and I thought, you know, and it's sticky back, so I thought, oh, but it didn't work as well as I thought. But I thought, you know, the grandkids would love adding that to, so it'll go in the art box, you know. For 
So that's what that is. And let me, uh, okay, so you see what this is going to be like. Tim, I can have you hold this and then add the other one. I'll move on to the next. But how cute. Is that a fun little, oh, William Sonoma has the best jelly beans. Well, I didn't send them that far, but I figured that. <laughs> <laughs> Tarka would be good. So they're the jelly, but whatever the, they're Hershey's or whatever, you know, something name brand. So he'll finish that. And then we're going to go on to a couple of other little treat holders here. Just have so much stuff here. Okay. Okay. Here, here's one I just love. I'm going to do treat holders and then it'll be Tim's turn. But I thought, would this be fun to put... At the table. This actually has little eggs in it. It's got this cute, the same little bunny. And I said, how cute is that? And this could stand at the table. And it'd be just right because it fits about three chocolates. Oh, I'm trying to put the cover on before it dries, but you know, the aqua painter cover doesn't quite do it. The trick for doing this when you put your covers on is to hold the tip right there because then it stabilizes it and that will go right in. Jelly beans are Brock brand. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is a four and a half inch square. And I am using huh, my favorite paper in the world, the um, Picture Perfect. And I don't have a lot of use for this side. This is my least favorite, but I love the stripes. So see, isn't it great to have two sides? And the thing I love about this is all those little paper clips we sell all go with this. And that's this is just closed up with the paper clip. See, it opens just opens like that. So we will make that. And, oh, um, hmm, I am missing. Oh, it's a good thing Tim the Finder. I'm missing my scoring. Thing? My uh, scoring. Wait, so let's see. Otherwise, oh, you know what? Th this will work for today. <laughs> Tim will get a bag of it. It's okay. This will work for today. So this is going to be really easy. I'm just going to go one inches. I put it this way, and I'm going to go one inches. Oh, go. he Thank found you, it. He is the finder. Thank you, Tim. Three inches and four inches. And that's going to give me that extra little bit. I said four and a half, did I? Not four and a quarter, but it is four and a half. Okay. Sorry. Okay. And then I turn it sideways, and I will do one inch. So what's easy about this is all you're having to think of is one inches. One One inch. One inches? Okay. And then my extra little flat. So I guess that first thing didn't score very deeply, so I'm kind of having to kind of guess where this is at. But these favors are also things, you know, if you have kids old enough, if you have kids and old enough, they went to a nursing home or something too, wouldn't these be cute little things to give to put on people's trays or something? I always think little things like that are, are pretty sweet. And then... Uh, and then this goes up. So now I am going to just cut on each of my scored lines here up to the fold. Did you, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, hello, all of you. Okay, Jelly Belly Flubs, are they good? So now we're talking about other things at the dollar store. Do you see how this, the bottom is just going to fold up now. I'm actually going to put that on the inside. And then this, and then this. Is Flubs a brand, or you mean the ones that are like okay. dented Campbell soup cans? Oh, <laughs> like real Flubs. And you know what I need, Tim? Oh, it's so nice to have a, have a finder and a fetcher. It was out here earlier. It wasn't. I think I cleaned too good. The tear and tape, you know, the white thing, and it's in my yeah. stuff on the table. Mm-hmm. It's that big round thing, yes. Right there? Yeah, like right here. It's just buried because I laid the catalog on it. I was sure I had it. Yes, you did. <laughs> well, the thing I really like about this for treats is that idea. It is a little treat thing, but it's not too much, you know, so it's a... Uh... But thanks. Some of you are saying that you like this. Okay, so I'm just going to put that down on the top. Press it hard there. It is just a variation of the 2468 box, yes. And I haven't done that in a long time either. I'll do that again. But it's like a mini size of that. So I could call this the 1234 box and then one on the side. So if that helps you remember, but I just love it. because if And you just want it four and a half or four and a quarter. It really doesn't matter. Just a little extra so that you can close it up like this. Jelly belly flubs are called 
belly flaps. Okay, and then when I'm making boxes, I like to burnish. Burnish means, you know, just pressing something hard so it really gets attached well down there. And then I like to close in the one that has the two, the opposite, and then this, and then I can just put a little of this on there. Yes, it is a four and a half inch square. What is the, the or one? Or it could be four and a quarter. What do you, I need to just pick one. It is uh, whatever I said first. Today we're doing, I think this one's four and a quarter and this one's four and a half. So you can see it doesn't make a bit of difference. So we'll go with four and a half. Okay, what did you mean the one that has the two on it? The other side I don't like so much. Is that what you're saying? What what has the two on oh, it? You wanted to fold the one that had the two. Oh, no. Okay. So I have a four inch. So actually, You know what? I'm going to cut another paper and I'll just do the scoring after Tim's thing to remind you. And if you want to score along... Just grab yourself a piece of four and a half inch square paper. That's exciting. So this is it. Go along. Yeah, okay. See, and then I have my little thing, and we'll put in one. We'll go for multicolored here. Uh, we, could, we could do one more, but I think three is just a good number. And do you see how I just squeeze this now? Do that and put this on top. And this is what will hold it. Whoops, right like that. So how cute is that? And then I just took, it's the stitched again on the fun um, gl glitter paper that is in the catalog too, and then the same bunny. So that'll go on there and this will be my, my decoration. So I would do this, this glitter paper comes in three colors. So I would make a variety of these and do these three colors too. And these could be different papers, but I just think that would be a fun little, little treat. Okay, and so I will come back. I will get that when Tim is on because it's so easy. You probably don't even need to be reminded of it. But if you want to be, I will come right back and do that. And then our last one is I'm going to do an actual basket out of the basket weave. Got to do that because it's baskets. And I was sharing this the other day. I'm going to mention it again. If you take the size that says the Sizzix and stamp it up, and then you take, I'm doing crumb cake on crumb cake for this. And then you just take this and ink it around. You could brayer it, you could do whatever. And then you put your paper in. It comes out like this. And see, it, it varies throughout the whole thing. But I'm good with that because that's kind of like a what a worn basket would start looking like. So this made my paper. Oh, thanks, Lisa. How sweet. Her day off is Thursday, and it's her craft day. Oh, that's fun. Love that you're here. Uh, fast and easy gifts are just so fun, so I, I'm glad you guys like little treat things. And I was try to think of things I haven't shown before. This one I show every year, but I just make it a little different. Because, again, this could be any size. You could be the, do this bigger and make it a... Uh, well, you know, like a table centerpiece. What, don't you like how nicely that is? We're gonna have, that's the handle. That's gonna be an odd size, but that's okay. So my paper here is I did cut this at three and a quarter. This side is five and a half. So I took a quarter sheet of paper. Lift, lift this up. So mm -hmm. What's underneath it that's making it so on? Oh yeah, all, 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 all my stuff. Okay. And because, oh, here's what it is really. The others are missing their little thing. So I have to take mine. I'll take this one off because <laughs> then it'll be level. Okay. <laughs> oh, I know this embossing folder is, is fabulous. Okay. So anyway, I cut this narrow up. It's not, I'll, I'll deal with it later. We have to deal with my squeaky uh, thing. I did this at three and a quarter because I'm going to score this in three equal parts. And three and a quarter makes it really easy, right? Is it, it, Am I right or am I not right? <laughs> no, I don't think it really matters. Okay, I'm going to score this. <laughs> it's not three It's, it's not going to matter. It isn't. It isn't. That's three and a quarter right So there. this is going to be one and a quarter. I'm scoring it at one and a quarter, okay? <laughs> to follow along my thought process, it, you know, it doesn't always work. So I'm not sure if this is thirds or not. But I think it is. Oh, yeah, I, okay, that's, that is what I meant. See, now I just wasn't sure. So, so if this is one and a quarter, then I'm going to do the same on this side. And you see, I could change this for any size basket. It's just nice. And this wouldn't even have to be in thirds, but I just think it gives it a nice basket shape when it's in thirds. Okay, so now I have 
all of my scoring done. I don't think that one was too hard there. Okay. And remember, these will go up and I will put the directions of what I used, all the pattern pieces, and it will go up tomorrow. I am um, I'm making a big promise here, so I'm sure Holly will check. <laughs> Let me know, but... <laughs> okay. Okay, and now do you see how these are just going to fold right up? This creates my basket. So, isn't that fun? So I'll put some snail on there. I would actually, if I'm going to, which I'm going to fill with stuff, so I would really put it, probably use um, glue dots or tear and tape or something, but for the sake of time here, I'm just going to get this put together. I should have had Tim get some Easter grass. I, you know, I should have sent him back. No. <laughs> I'd run over here. <laughs> He actually walked to the store, and we were joking here about how slow, about how slow he was. Cause <laughs> and they were saying, yeah, but wouldn't it be terrible if he fell? And then, no, no, and we were laughing, and then he did. He slipped down I the tripped. stairs, so we almost did get a phone call. So, I caught my you know. heel on the steps, and I just about went okay. three, three steps down. Now, this one I made smaller, so I just want to point out, you can make these however you want. This one, and I actually like the small one better if you're giving it to one person because you don't want to have to put so much in it. So we'll go back to this one and I'm, I will give you the, um, and I believe this was just a square one. So you're going to put a handle on it? Yeah, I'll put, I'll put a handle on it because I thought we'll do this one and I'll put the measurements up for this tomorrow. This is going to be my handle and I'm going to stick it. Oh, I'm going to stick it right in there. I will attach it later. Okay. So here is my cute little basket. This size is better. So I will, um, Switch the directions to this size, okay? Or you could, yeah, you could use a little brad there or anything. And now, now we're going to put some little chocolates in there. And I thought, isn't that cute? So that would be cute by a table, too. And to put on those ends, and I've taken from the A Good Day, I have my stitch framelits again, and I have the little bunny from there. So I'm going to just attach those and put them right here on the two sides. So another fun little um, Easter basket. So these are kind of the two little little ideas for little gifty things or uh, Tim's eraser. So just some fun things to do with it. Oh, love the hearts and the thumbs up. So great. Uh, the basket weave embossing folder is right now you get it with a $100 order. It's one of your free choices and you get a basket stamp set and this basket weave, which is adorable. It's a great way to get it. But the embossing is going to be in the new catalog. So you can just wait and get that. Um, wait and get that then. But you know, it's going to just be so it's going to be so popular. So when we're done, then I take pictures of these and then all the measurements and everything you need to know will be on the website tomorrow. Love the heart. So this is my little Oh, and coming back to this. See, this looks dry now. And I am planning so I'll do a picture of that to just, ooh, to just pop pop that up. I'm not sure if I'll do another layer or not, so we'll just see. So that remains to be seen, um, but I will also fix that. What are you taking pictures of? So you can post them. Oh, he's taking pictures now. I take pictures of the finished product. Oh. I guess you want step by step. Okay, do you want? All, you know, and that's a great idea. Roz says that these would make nice favors for a baby or, or party. Uh, baby shower, party favors. Yes, and you can change. I'm showing them as Easter favors, but these would all be great to switch and use for any other occasion. And I took a picture of that, 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 that container. Over there. Okay, Tim's con container. Now, Tim is known, some of you know, last year we had this huge conversation about peeps, and we had a little peep stamp. Tim says he loves peeps, so... He got some at the dollar store, and he's going to make a peep card, and we no longer have a stamp. So now he is on. Oh, yeah, I love that cross, too. Oh, and right before that, this is the host code, and you do get from me three great cards with the cross kit. So it's really fun to have ideas for what you get. And, you know, the cross cards are perfect for Easter, sympathy, baptisms, confirmation, dedications. I mean, there are a lot of, a lot of uses um, for the crosses, so I just think they're very fun. Uh, and BH96MAQ9 is 
the host code, and with a $50 order, you get the three cards. Is that for March? For March, yes. And you know what? They go out the 15th and then the end of the month. So if you order before the 15th, just, just so you know when they will go. Oh. Hello. Okay, you're going to show my face first? or? Oh, yes. Yeah, and you can show your one card. Ah, your, your completed card here. Okay. What's my completed card? Oh. I haven't completed it. Oh, okay. I thought you... No, you never gave me anything to complete it with. Oh. So, anyway. Okay, you just talk. And that camera is crooked. I'm wearing my Irish hat. Um, St. Patty's Day is coming up, and I made the shamrock. Crazy Connie, this is for you. Um, Karen, for some strange reason, I don't know why, she doesn't have a heart punch. So I fussy cut it, fu fussy cut hearts out, because that's what you use to make a shamrock. So anyway, um, she thought I did this ahead of time, but I didn't. Okay, this is really crude. This is even, by my standards, crude. Because it is. Where is my, what do you call that thing? Snail. Karen, where's my snail? I, I left what I had. I didn't take it. Okay. Is this is this an alternative to snail? Now is it me to be the finder? Is this an alternative to snail? <laughs> You're saying it's my turn to be the finder? Well. Didn't I use it on something? I have no idea. Okay. Okay, I, I'm you want, sure it's here, here you I guys. I should bring the okay. camera over here. Okay. Enough looking. At Tim me. at work. <laughs> <laughs> this was all Tim's idea to do this, so, you know. It is. Oh, it's right here. It's just not my thing. <laughs> okay, but we're, we're using glue. This is really crude. Yeah, and the little bit of, I don't know if I told you this before, but on St. Patrick's Day, I become... Timothy Otitis. So I've got a little, got a little Irish in me. This is really bad. But anyway, um, then Karen said I had a brown pen that I could use for a stem. And then I should have some of that green grass that Karen had. This is, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. That is, <laughs> that is really, really bad. Okay, what I'm going to do for the encore is I'm going to use peeps, and I'm going to make a peep card. So Karen said that she didn't want me to open this and eat any of them until she took a picture of it. So Karen, are you going to take a picture of this? Or should, well, I do a, I, I, or should I do a selfie? I meant afterwards. But, I thought you, you know, said you wanted to. I want your finished card with it, Tim. <laughs> How am I going to have a finished card if I can't open the peeps? I am a Are little... you putting a peep on your card? I, I thought I was, but maybe I'm not. Oh, well. You okay, know. don't go anywhere, Karen. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I do. I have I a do. request I from do. the other room, so okay. we're multitasking today. I know it. I know we are. And so here are parts of the bunny. And this one came from this... And we punched it out and then cut. That's the ears. And this one came from this one. And this one from this one. And all together it makes a bunny. Now, do I have some, <laughs> something to put it on? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Here it is. Here it is. I have no idea what this is all about. Is this, is this something that I'm supposed to put these together on? This was if you wanted to punch, and then you're just going to make oh, your peep on punch. here. I thought you were going to punch oh, to show I'm them, but that's okay. Punch. But you don't no, need to. No, okay, I want can... to. <laughs> this is possible. Now you can see how much planning we do. Tim just really doesn't want to plan. So. Okay. <laughs> I want to plan. Um, now, I was actually thinking you'd be punching the pink for the money to go with the peeps, and then you'd put them on here. <laughs> So that would there that would be a really nice okay. cover right there. Let's let's read comments. Let's see. Oh, okay. We Does this guy have a degenerative disease or what? 
Oh, you need to move the top one over a little. Is this, oh, to see or no, Adam, maybe, the, okay, <laughs> okay, whatever, okay. Oh my goodness, that's hard. I didn't know that if you put peeps in the microwave rasas, they puff up and then they deflate as they cool. <laughs> so that could be another new uh, science experience for Tim, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Look at this. Look at this, okay? We are first going to take, I brought my own scissors, but I lost it. Okay, I'll use Karen's scissors. Boy, we're getting longer on some of these shows, but I thought, <laughs> but there's just so much to show. So I hope you guys like to see lots of ideas. <laughs> okay. You might got to put it on here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And see, that would cover that hole. So that's where this one, you better put it over yes. that hole to cover it. Let's do it. that. Okay. There. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that underneath? Wh whichever. Whichever. Darling. Isn't oh, that cute? there's okay. the peep. Okay, here we go. I should probably keep talking. This dead air probably doesn't work very well on a Facebook Live, so I'll keep talking. Um, when Grandpa and Grandma Johnson lived in Jackson, would take all the kids and they have the biggest, most elaborate uh, what do you call it? Egg hunt in the backyard. They had a huge backyard and they had trellises and all kinds of things. So this actually has to go underneath. Starting to look pretty good. Not really. This actually was supposed to be put underneath. But there we go. Look at that. Um, I think I'm Okay, brown eyes, should we do brown eyes? That's gray eyes, how about brown eyes? If you look at original peeps, they actually have brown eyes, which I'm not sure why. Okay, isn't that cute? Now, this is the best part. I'm going to make a second one and put it on the back and I'm going to give it a bunny tail. And this is a, when I take off my makeup at night. <laughs> Just kidding. When I, I'm not sure why we have these. Maybe when our daughter lived with us. Maybe that's why. So anyway, these are whatever these are. And should we just do it? Let's just do it. Karen has left me. Why has she left me? Um, I can't read comments and do all this fancy stuff at the same time. Karen! Get out here. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> okay, just wait. I'm going to do the bunny tail. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to cut more ears off. If I can find my scissors. Sometimes I think that our ratings might start going down if I continue to put together these kinds of <laughs> haphazard <laughs> projects. Projects. We went down to Iowa and just impressed all these p nice, nice people with all of our whatever. <laughs> and now they're I'm watching. I'm not sure what. Tim's humor now, or lack thereof. <laughs> now they're watching this and they're saying, jeez. <laughs> Where did we get ourselves in? No, I Can think they're just wondering together? if um if Tim, I think they're just thinking. I don't think Tim planned the cards we did. <laughs> Look at that! That is now, so. See, I love his bunny tail. That, that came is out so better. Cute. And that was my idea. It was his idea. Okay, so. Look at that! Isn't that cute? So there is his card. Okay, now Tim, I can get a picture of you holding the peeps in your card. <laughs> And I'm wanting to know who he knows that likes peeps, who this gift is for. One more. I don't know if sir. One more? Oh, yeah. So we got to get the other side. All okay, right. Okay. Okay. Now what? Do you want me to You're make done. another card? You're done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want nothing. Thank you for your, uh, <laughs> your patience, everybody. 
Oh, yeah. yes, thanks. Okay. Now, I just want to finish up by showing you some gorgeous, gorgeous cards here for Easter. And as we just love seeing cards. First, we're going to look at some of the daffodil ones from the, I think you're inspiring. This card is just so pretty. And look, there's it's just layered on cards. This is done by Brenda Taylor, who is also the one who mentioned the magnets today. She's in our downline, and boy, she, she really um, did a great job. You know, this could be just a great spring card. And I just want you to notice how she used some really light stamping on the background, uh, color on color, so. Stamping on the background as opposed to stamping on the back porch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, people liked what you did. Okay, oh, they like Tim's craft time. And then here's another one with daffodils. And what I really, this is from Karen Monger, another Karen. I One of these I really love. Look, at this is put on a pool party, and there's no pool party in anything else. And it's just lovely. It'd be kind of like a sky thing. But I just love that. I noticed that because I tend to draw something out of what I'm working on. So I just wanted to notice that. And then I like the little button and the way the words go out like that. What, this is your inspiring from the occasions catalog, and it's just great for anything. And then look at this gorgeous one. This is from Diana Gibbs, and look how pretty that is. It's with the largest stitch framelits, and then layered on the black, and then on a doily. And isn't that pretty in that same paper that I had used for the, you know, for the chick? But I thought really lovely cards. <laughs> yeah, Cheryl, it does. It does. Okay, and then, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna save a few of these for uh, Monday night since we've just done Easter. Um, let's just save some. Now, th this was from Deborah Rogers, and I was, I think I showed that on Monday too because she's one of my downline, and they send in. But I'm showing it again. But how pretty is that with the stamp flowers, the God is love, and then the silver on top? I think that is just really pretty. I think I may re-show at least some of these on Monday, so we'll just do a few, because we've kind of gone a little over. Because this by, is, by Monday, she won't know what she's I doing. won't remember, and I'm hoping that you guys won't either, or you'll just want to catch it again, because it's all good, because, you know, we get to extend kind of the, the fun Easter things. Yeah, those daffodils really do look real. And then the Sandy McManus, and I love this, with the wood frame and the God is love put over there and the flower. Isn't that just a stunning card? And... Look at how fun those papers are with making with making the card. And that is Marianne Grimmer. And this one with all the black and white papers is Holly. Our Holly, Handcrafted Blessings by Holly. I think these are really fun. So I'll show you mine in And one last one. So I want to show the little cross. And in the card kit, you, you know that one of the cards has a little cross kit because that was the little die we were missing. <laughs> Um, and I just think this is just adorable. Is this just a darling little card? And this isn't the card you're getting because this is somebody else's card. You're getting my card. But I just love this card and then the words there. And I think, what, a, an adorable baptism card or something? This is Amy Pedersen. Oh, yes. When and how to use ribbon. I would love to do something. Uh, we, we can, we'll, we'll do ribbon sometimes, okay? Yeah, they are beautiful cards. So, and uh, some of you are in our, our latest class, our gift card classes, and we had a lot of fun last Monday. We made four different gift cards just out of, out of envelopes. So anyway, that was very fun. You can still join us if you're interested, so always just ask if you have... Yeah, you know, I've got to share a chair. i got to move. i got to move. <laughs> and yes, um, uh, So let us know if you have interest in that. If you're on our mailing list, it's only 15 instead of 25, and... You get the PDFs and movies forever, and we're only one week down out of four. So thank you for being with us. I will put these cards all up on the wait, blog tomorrow. Wait. Oh, what do you? Oh, and the winner! I remember this is for someone who shared, and Holly just did the, the number drawing, and it is Sharon Everhart. So congratulations, Sharon! Now, Sharon, you need to just message me your address. Do, uh, you can just message it right on on this, and it will go out in the mail to you. And once again, I want to thank everyone for sharing. It We so appreciate um, having you do that, and it just helps our business so much. We are so lucky, and we know it, to be able to do this as a business and to 
enjoy having you guys in our community. So you mean a lot to us. It's very true. I agree. So we'll see some of you on Saturday. And if you're in or around Minnesota, you can still join us. Shoot me an email. And then we'll see you Monday night for chatting over cards. And, oh yeah, and we're going to be doing this and then another kind of a, a gift card. We're going to be doing it this way and a flat version. We're doing two versions of this. Remember, this goes like this and then where the gift card goes. And another one that I haven't decided, haven't yet. decided yet. You know, there's <laughs> so many possibilities. It's just to narrow it down. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. We, lo we love you all. <laughs> Bye. And keep talking. Read some comments because it's got to go around and turn off the Okay, show. so he'll go around and hold it. <laughs> Thanks. And people are, congratulations. Thanks, you guys. We appreciate all of you. <laughs> Bye.